Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and iOS 17.2 is finally coming out to the public in just a few days. iOS 17.2 is packed with new features, but in this video, we're going to focus on 10 of those that are really cool and will of course make your device even better. And we're starting with something called messages in iCloud. So to access this feature, you need to go to your settings, to your Apple ID, and then go to iCloud. And right here, tap on show all and you will find something called messages on iCloud. Now, what this does, it basically will store your messages in iCloud in case you need to restore your iPhone or set it up as a new iPhone, you will still have your messages there. So right here, you can enable the feature. You can choose how long you want to keep the messages just like you would do with the messages on your device. And you will have the storage here. You can disable and delete, of course, the conversations. You will have the top conversations and you will have here in iCloud, it shows you how many messages you have actually saved to your iCloud. And this right here is probably one of the coolest features of iOS 17.2. Announce messages can now scan images and describe them to you. Now, when you get a message, whether you maybe are connected to your CarPlay or you just have announced messages turned on, your iPhone will now be able to actually scan that message. And this right here is an example of that. It shows that this person has received a photo. It will scan that image and it will actually now describe the image for you. It will tell you what the image is and what's on that image. And it's actually pretty accurate. Next up is local awareness. This is a new feature that you will be able to find under notification settings and then just scroll down to emergency alerts and there is local awareness. Well, this feature will help Apple to use your approximate location to improve the timelines and the reliability of the emergency alerts that Apple will send to your device. The next feature we're talking about is something called automatic live activities for reoccurring events. Now, what this feature will do for you is that if you use live activities for certain apps, let's say like on NBA here, we have live activities turned on and we follow a team and we use live activities for the games of that team. So you want to follow your team, you have your live activity enabled on your lock screen. Well, this feature will basically help the app to track the event for you. So when it reoccurs your team, let's say plays after two days again, it will automatically start the live activity for you. So you don't need to actually run a live, live activity for your team every time it plays. Once it learns that you're using the live activity for that certain team, it will do that automatically for you. And we can finally now change notification sounds on iOS 17.2. That's just crazy to think about that we had to wait for actually so long to be able to change the default notification sound on iOS. This is really crazy. So you go to your settings now on iOS 17.2 under sounds and haptics, you will find here default alerts. What you can do here is disable it completely. Of course, you can choose any of the different sounds that we have here. You can go to the classic ones, which you can, of course, use any one of them. You have a few of them. And of course, you have the old school one as well. So if you like the iOS 16 better than the iOS 17 one, you can choose that. So finally, you can change the notification sounds for your apps and even the haptics. So when you go here, you will have the default haptic and you will have a few different haptics right here. You can even create your own one simply by going here. You just tap and hold and tap stop once you're done and tap on save and you will have this new haptic saved here for your device and you can of course choose it to use it with your notification sounds. Next up, we're moving under the general settings here under general, then we have here airplay and handoff, you will find here a new feature airplay receiver, basically, you will be able to stream or share your content from the Apple Vision Pro to your iPhone, you just turn your iPhone into airplay receiver. And you can do that by enabling it right here. And then you can choose allow airplay for you can choose the current user or everyone. Of course, these will be features and options that will be useful for people that will be using the Apple Vision Pro. One really cool feature that I like on iOS 17.2 is one that Apple has added for the new journal app. Now, in this case, I'm not really excited about the journal app, but I hope that someday Apple will add this feature to the other apps as well. You can see here what I'm talking about. You go to your settings 
under the journal settings right here, you will have lock journal. So you will be able to actually lock the app with face ID and the passcode, which is really awesome. So we tap here. And once you're in this section right here, you will be able to enable the lock here. Lock your journal using the device's passcode, face ID, or touch ID. You can choose when you want to require the passcode. You have from one minute up to 15 or just immediately. So every time you have to enter the app, it will require a passcode. So it's really amazing that Apple has done this. Hopefully this feature will come to other apps as well. And finally, Apple has also added verification for iMessage, basically contact key verification. If you want to use this feature on your iOS 17.2 device, you will find it under your Apple ID. At the top of your settings app, go to your Apple ID and just scroll down just underneath the list of the devices that you have on your Apple ID, you will have here contact key verification. So basically this allows to verify who you're messaging with. Are you messaging the person you tend to message? You enable the feature right here, and now it finally works with the new iOS 17.2. And last but not least, we need a fun feature, of course, and we have a new wallpaper. Not a new wallpaper, but a wallpaper has returned on iOS 17.2. If you go to add a new wallpaper and you go to the collections, when you swipe here, you can see the new Bubbles wallpaper is back with iOS 17.2. It looks quite cool, of course. These will be, of course, moving on the screen. You will have here the dark mode and the light mode. You can choose it automatic or just choose any one of them that you want. And of course, you will have all kinds of different colors here. Simply by swiping left and right, you will be able to change the colors of the bubbles right here. Of course, when you're on the light mode, it will even change the color of the wallpaper. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are 10 amazing new features that are coming to your device with iOS 17.2. As I said at the beginning of the video, these are coming really, really soon as we're currently on the RC version of iOS 17.2. We might get another RC version, RC2 released maybe this week, but by next week, we will have the public release of iOS 17.2. That's a sure thing because we're moving on then, of course, into the holiday season and you cannot expect Apple to actually delay iOS 17.2. Now, most likely the release will happen on Monday or maybe even Tuesday, but just taking a quick look at the schedule and the history, how Apple has released things, especially major updates to iOS, I would expect actually Apple to release this update on Monday. That will be December 11th. It will be out, of course, as usually around 10 a.m. Pacific time. That's the time when Apple releases iOS software updates. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. And of course, subscribe for more iOS 17.2 videos. We have some pretty cool videos coming up with iOS 17.2 once it's released. So make sure to subscribe for that. And I will see you on the next one.